am so excited to be chatting with them today. Shane, Mark, Key, and Nikki. It's Westlife. Hello, hey. Oh my great. gosh. Oh, Westlife. After 14 years of success, you took a little bit long of a break. Reunited in 2018 and then came had its comeback album, Spectrum. Now, was everybody on board to, to get going again or did, did some need convincing? I think everybody was on board. I think, yeah. you know, it couldn't work to come back after seven years unless everybody wanted to do it. Yeah. Um, but everybody had a different vision of what that might be. What music do we do? You know, do we tour? Do we just tour? Yeah. All those things had to be, I guess, tackled. You know, what management, what record label. Like for myself, I was presenting radio to leave that, to go back to Westlife. And um, the lads had been, you know, everyone had done solo albums and uh, different things going on. So it was a big decision, which had probably been bubbling for a little bit of time. But you know what? I don't think any one of us has, has any regrets oh, because, great. for example, 2019 Singapore Stadium here was one of the highlights of the reunion tour. That was exciting. Mm. You guys packed out. Now, has the group dynamics changed since you guys got back together or has it largely been the same? You just sort of fell right back into it real quickly, um, Shane. I think it's it's similar and it's different. I think okay. we all, I think the best thing about when we broke up, the only good thing that came from that is we all learned how to grow individually. Okay. We all learned how to stand on our own two feet without the Westlife blanket around us. Yeah. Um, and as Nikki said, 14 years or 13 years, whatever it was together, it's a long time to be in. And we released nine albums or 10 albums. So yeah. it was very intense. We were very young. We were, you know, we were literally just nearly following the, the, the conveyor belt every yes, year because yeah. the success was kept coming so we just kept doing it but we didn't really know any different yeah. so I think when we stepped away from it we all we all learned how to stand on our own two feet so we all came back individually I think better versions of our former selves nice. and we also had children We a lot of stuff had happened in our personal lives during that time so we all came back kind of very excited for that reason also for our children to see what yeah. Westlife's all about because they're all too young most of them are too young to understand yeah. so I think the second time around Westlife 2.0 as we mm -hmm. kind of called it at the, at the start it is more fun it means more to us it's more enjoyable yeah. we kind of work Westlife around our personal lives whereas before right. it was the opposite way around yeah. we, we just did everything yeah. and we forgot about our personal lives so we had to learn to live a little and um, focus on what's important so we only do the things that are important that's why we're doing this radio show I was just gonna say that's what they're the here most radio shows in <laughs> Singapore right yeah exactly but honestly <laughs> we, we, we pick the best stuff and we try yeah. and do as much as we can without doing too much because we have to give your family we still our dads and that's the most yeah. important thing in our lives so we have to go home now for a month off and we get to go and do the school runs and go to the soccer yeah. matches and do all the different things and that brings us back to reality and then we go away on tour again so work-life it's, it's balance is important very You've got important. to have that yeah, yeah. Mark, now you you guys have performed for millions of people across the world for so many years. Is there a standout fan moment or just like a really nice memory from the fans that you remember when you think back? Oh, there's so many. When we, we've done our very first ever tour of like this area of the world. You know, we had no idea what we were going to step off the plane and yeah. see, you know, culturally, you know, totally. fan wise. Like we really didn't think there was going to be as many fans that were at the airport, but we landed in the airport and there was literally thousands of fans. Like yeah. the local military had to be brought in to, to, <laughs> to sort of police the whole situation That's crazy. and to lead us out. Wow. And, you know, people were trying to like uh, rip hair out of our heads. And like <sighs> we had experienced wow. like sort of a, a little bit of boy band mania in the UK and Ireland and sort of parts of Europe and stuff. But when we came out here, it was like a different level. Insane. It was just it was next level, right? Yeah, it was it was it was out of control and it was amazing. <laughs> it, was, it was a thrilling experience. Um, and nice. so I would definitely say that when we landed out here and f f for the first time ever met the fans, you know, be it Singapore or any of the kind of territories that are yeah. close by, it blew our minds. We didn't even have like sort of video phones and stuff as much back then. Exactly, so isn't it? It was like it? hard to right? explain yeah. when we went home to our friends and family. Video cameras like, trying to catch just the ball patches that they, what happened to you? Just we got the hair pulled, pulled <laughs> off. That's, in yeah, Singapore. that's what happened, yeah. Somebody <laughs> just went, <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> he was the most popular. Geography from behind there. Kian, what else do you guys want to do as a band, and what's on the bucket list for Westlife, as well oh, as for you personally? Um, yeah. I think, like for us as a band, like you know, we're we've been doing it a very long time, and I think at this stage it's a case of trying to keep it together and keep it going. You know, of course, we would love to be doing more and more all the time.
time, but I think yeah. it's maintenance. Let's call it like oh, that. Yeah. It's like building a, a big house, you know, yeah. after 15 years, even though it's, it's still a lovely house. You've got to refurbish uh, it every now and then. Like. Cost of living's rising as well. <laughs> you know? Inflation is killing us all. Then the prices are going way up. So I think, yeah. I think it's, it's maintenance and trying to figure out, you know, what's right, what's wrong. Do we take a big, long break now and come again? Yeah. But I, again, you know, we've got to live in the now. So today it's about Singapore. Tonight it's about, you know, doing concerts and uh, being on this tour and then getting back to our children and having some time with them. After that, there's not much point in looking too far into the yeah. future. Thank you so much, guys, for your time today. Thank you what so much. Thank you. Oh, Cheers. this is such a treat. It's Westlife, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. See, see you next year on tour.